Hello, my name is Gerald with Maple Systems. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create bar graphs and analog meters. Bar graphs and analog meters can be very helpful tools to help the operator visualize the information. To create an analog meter, under the Advanced Options menu, select Analog Meter. Place the meter on the screen. In the Analog Meter Properties, there are many options for configuring your meter. If you want the color patches, on your meter to display something other than the default colors, open the color patch properties. In the color patch browser, you can configure your color patches. You can configure one to five color patches. You cannot overwrite the patch values, so keep that in mind when changing your configuration. For example, you cannot make color patch four go from 300 to 401, unless you change color patch 5 to go from 402 to 500. Once you have finished configuring the color patches, click OK. Back in the properties, you can add a border, a label, and a simulation value. The simulation value is the value it will store when running a simulation. In the Appearance Meter Background section, you can select a background color and meter style. In the Appearance Meter Foreground section, you can choose a display range, the divisions, and the min-max values to display. Under the Operation section of the Properties, you can configure the orientation of the meter. For example, you can insert a value of 360 for the Angle End property and get a full circle meter. Or you can start at 90 degrees and go to 180 degrees if you just want a quarter meter. Specify the data type, tag address, and the start and end values for your meter. For more information on analog meters, under the Help menu, select Index. In the Index menu, select Analog Meter. This will give you detailed information on how to configure your analog meter. If you want to show your data in a bar graph format, under the Advanced Objects menu, select either Bar Graph or Multiple Bar Graphs. A bar graph gives you the same information and options as a multiple bar graph, but only has one bar of information. Here I have placed a multiple bar graph. In the Bar Graph Properties, there are many options to visually configure your bar graph. The first thing you will want to do is select your data type. You can add labels and an axis. You can configure bar spacing and bar width. In a multiple bar graph, you can show up to four bars of information in a single graph. In the Bar Attributes section of the Properties, you can configure each individual bar. Just make sure to select the bar you want to change by changing the bar in the bar selected property. Here you can change the color of each bar individually. You can also add a label and specify min max values for each bar. For more information on bar graphs, under the help menu select index. In the index menu, select bar graph. This will give you detailed information on each field. And that's how to create and configure your data visualization tools.